Regardless in what technology you actually work on, it is very important that you keep an eye on what's happening in other languages, libraries and framework. Well, the easy way of doing it is hitting that subscribe button because I keep up coming with these new fantastic news. Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video and in this video we're going to talk about a new boy which is not that new but is getting very very famous in present 2020. The name is Rust. Rust in the last two years has gained a lot of love from the developers and in today's video we're going to talk a bit about why is it happening and what can be the foreseen future about Rust. The primary goal of any language is to serve programmers, developers at its core. And Rust know this exactly well. Rust knows that if I'm going to be absolutely friendly to developers, that's the way how developers are going to adopt Rust. And Rust creators know this exactly well. Rust is going to compete in the arena where C++ is right now playing dominant game. And we all know C++ is absolutely ridiculously fast and this Rust is just teeny tiny bit slower than that so that can be an acceptable compromise there. Right now C++ is absolutely tricky to write code and I'm not talking about just writing code for looping some stuff or some competitive programming challenges. I'm talking about the real world projects. It's not easy to mess around with threads in C++. On top of that, it comes to installing some dependencies and stuff, then it becomes a whole new nightmare in C++. Rust is addressing all these issues directly from the language inside itself. And that is the reason why a lot of people are thinking about adopting Rust or at least taking a look on it. Now, one of the advantages this Rust is getting is having a unified set where I can just go through and look about this language. This is not the case, easy case at least for C++. With the Rust, I can go officially to their language documentation and look at their documentation, how easy it is to understand all the syntax for conditionals, loops, functions, whatever that is. It just is right there and you can read it and figure it out so easily and well-written documentation. Now, one more thing, as I was saying that installing new dependencies is so much tough in C++. It's not really that tough, but yeah, it sometimes creates a lot of issues. One of the things that I absolutely loved about this Rust, I didn't play it much around just taking a look at the documentation, is how much focusing they are putting on the testing. Unit testing and all those testings are mostly just built in the inside the language itself and I am kind of loving it. I thought that if you're playing around with Rust, why not to install it and just write a simple hello world or test out with some few conditionals. And boy oh boy, it is so amazing and awesome in this language to get started, it's ridiculously easy. And if you compare it that to equivalent of C++, the route is a little bit on to the edgy side, but in the Rust it is a bit easier. And of course I give Rust onto that because it came out so late, that's why they have solved almost all of the problems. One thing that I liked so much just at the initial first look is this language gives you so much of the add-ons that you can use. For example, I use VS Code and there is already a snippet available that I can just install and it supports so much of my writing speed of the code. Now, one more thing that I liked about this language is how they are trying to build the community. Now, I am really super impressed that how the creator's email and their GitHub repos are simply available on the website itself. I know Rust is a bit of a newer language, so there's gonna be a lot of bugs and you can interact these developers onto this much of a connection is definitely really an amazing thing. Do you know they got even the async and await on a stable Rust? I think that's, that's a really great step. I think this language is getting at a really, really good pace. The only thing I would love to have a bit more on the homepage is how can I try this language without even installing so that I can run some of the test functions or something or give me some example on the homepage. I would love to try them out. So I think I get it. I get, I think you also got it that Rust is competing in the environment of C++. So just a tiny bit slower than C++. I'll accept that. Apart from that, great installation process, great documentation to read out anything. Some tutorials are there, not really great, but I think eventually community will cover that up. A very friendly community and I love the part where Rust has got inbuilt support for the testing as well, especially unit testing as well. And I like the part that how they're using the blog, the constant update that are coming up with the language and keep me excited with that. 
is really a great thing about the Rust. So I think that is these are some of the reasons why Rust is getting its popularity. And I think it looks like a great future ahead for the Rust. And I think eventually the community is going to show a lot of love to this language. And I, I will recommend you to keep an eye on this. Maybe it might come up as a big shot very, very soon. So go ahead, hit that subscribe, keep an eye on this language, and I'll keep you updated about what's happening in the Rust world and apart from that, variety of other things that's happening in the programmers and developers community. Make sure to catch me up in the next video, and let's see you there.